Alright guys, due to obviously popular demand, um, I'm making a new video. Um, this one with voice and hopefully HD on YouTube. Now that YouTube has HD, why not utilize it? So, um, in this tutorial, same thing as last time, we're going to be installing PHX, uh, extremely popular mod for, uh, or add-on for Gary's mod. Uh, so, we'll just go up here and go to www.garysmod.org. Let it load real quick. <coughs> and for PHX, simple, very simple. Just have to click here. Uh, if that's not there, all you have to do is type in here PHX stands for Phoenix Premium. Um, first one, Phoenix Storms 2. Click on it. Download it. Um, save it. I just created a folder on my desktop called Gmod. So open up that and you'd save it. I've previously downloaded it, uh, so I don't have to wait. Um, these installations are extremely simple. Simply right click it. Oh, um, a neat thing to get, obviously, is uh, WinRAR from, after Google loads up, recording slows my computer down a little bit, www.rarlabs.com, you go here, start this real quick, or, er, wait, Go to downloads and download the latest one. Um, it's not really a trial. It's never ended for me. But after you've downloaded and installed that, or you can use WinZip, which comes with Windows. So right click and usually you get an extract all option if you don't have this installed. But if you do have uh, WinRAR installed from rawlabs.com, you can simply click extract to and then it'll give you a folder name. So we'll just let that extract real quick. Um, obviously, you're going to need to have Gary's mod installed through Steam, and um, you need to at least run it once. I've just ran it once because I don't play this game anymore, and uh, I just want to stop all the freaking emails and comments from you guys. So you can delete the original. You don't need it. Um, this is extremely easier than previously where I had like two parts and stuff so we'll just open up this so we just extracted this folder so just double click on this and you have this folder um, then simply go to Windows XP and Windows Vista should be about the same start my computer local disk C I'm going to go to program files I'm going to scroll down to your Steam folder uh, then you want to go to your Steam Apps folder. Then your username. This is my username. Um, your Gary's Mod folder. And then inside that, there will be another Gary's Mod folder. So we'll open those two. And then we go to Add ons. And here we are in our Add ons folder. Simply right click, hold it down and let go here and then click move here and we're done pretty much uh, all you have to do now is pretty much start up Gary's mod um, I'll show you what it looks like at the beginning of startup in a second now that we don't need this folder anymore because there's nothing in here you can just simply delete this folder off of your desktop and that's pretty much it for installing it. Um, since it's a lot of them aren't as easy as Gary's mod, or I mean, my bad. Since most aren't as easy as PHX, I will show you how to install one more. Remember to go to Gary'sMod.org. Um, another extremely popular one is the Door S tool. So. Um, the one I'm most familiar with and the one, easiest one for me is door stool.zip. Um, these take seconds to download. So in desktop, I will just make my new folder. 
call it gmod save um, I'll also show you another popular one and good one to get if you're a, a big gmod fan is stacker um, just get I'll get this one save it here real quick okay now we're done with the website uh, open up your gmod folder if I'm going too fast just pause the video or something so again with winrar click extract to then we don't need these anymore so open up local disk C program files scroll down to steam steam apps your username Gary's mod Gary's mod again add-ons and here we are in add-ons we just open up stacker hold right click drag it over move here we're done with that one now door s tool we extracted it to here open up this folder hold down right click drag it over let go move here simple done with the gmod folder now I will go in game and show you what all these tools do